the next panel topic is really interesting uh, but before that uh, probably uh, uh, emmanuel you could go first and introduce yourself absolutely manish so nice to meet everyone uh, my name is emmanuel i work for linea i'm part of the linea core team where i take care of growth So this basically means that I take care of onboarding valuable partners inside Linea's ecosystem and of user facing growth initiatives such as Quest and stuff like this. Uh Linea for who doesn't know uh is a ZKVM rollups that has been powered by Consensus ZKVM technological stack. We are part of the Consensus ecosystem and we just launched mainnet uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Congrats congrats Emmanuel uh, we're really excited and looking forward to all the stuff that we're going to be building together and of course i mean personally i've had a really cool experience working with you guys uh, i mean uh, the team is amazing and um, of course um, i also got the impression that last time uh, i mean uh, the team was also recovering from ecc so i think this this would be a perfect time to go and we'll like you know uh, move forward with all the amazing things that we're going to do together Absolutely. Um, Anurag, yep. <laughs> um, Anurag, could you go next? Yeah, sure. Hey, Manisha, thanks for inviting me. So, uh, guys, I'm Anurag. I work for Kunji Finance in the strategy operations. So, what we are building is the decentralized asset management protocol for any asset managers or sophisticated traders who want to deploy their strategies, and the users or depositors who want to deploy their funds on to these strategies and earn profit, right? so we came up this idea after what happened with like crypto hedge funds who lost their money in the ftx fiasco even if they are profitable they were have to like they have to shut down their operations because they were exposed to centralized risk so that's what uh, motivated us to build something uh, in a decentralized manner like asset management services and and we have integrated major uh, perpetual protocols like gmx and and mux protocols and spot uh, dexes like uh, uniswap and other protocols are also on the pipeline and we will soon be releasing a beta version of of the of our platform and the, the recent milestone which we had was like 25k early adopters were interested in our platform so yeah i'll be very quick because i have a meeting to catch up in 15 minutes okay no worries and uh, steve uh, would you like to go next yeah hey thanks for the uh, introduction here um I'm Steve. I work over at Pondal as a business development manager. Uh what we do is we're a peer-to-peer fully I sort of lost you there, Steve. Hey. Yeah, do I sound okay now? Yeah. Sorry, I'm on my laptop and it's my first time doing a space here, so yeah. figured there might be a glitch or two. No uh, but yeah, just given a quick quick intro to Pond there, uh peer-to-peer lending and borrowing, Oracle free, totally decentralized. Uh just released a uh, exciting feature regarding collection offers so uh happy to be here on the twitter spaces uh talking about the future of defi here uh i was very intrigued by the topic as well uh also quick shout out to taylor i uh, just noticed now that we actually met at eth prog a couple months back so didn't even realize he was on the panel until just now so i'll let him take over as the last intro i think mm-hmm. Taylor, yes, of course. Hey, how's it going? Thank God you remember me, Steve. I was hoping you did. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, so yeah, I, I'm uh, I'm Taylor. I'm developer relations at EtherSpot. Um, so my role is helping DApp developers get set up with our tools, creating and managing docs, uh, creating technical content, this sort of thing. So um, EtherSpot itself, uh, we work in pretty much anything a kind of abstraction related to help deliver this um, seamless Web two like user experience for your Web three DApp. So we have developer tools for DApps to easily integrate a kind of abstraction features, uh, whatever that DApp might be, and we help out EVM based networks get set up um, in the entirety of all the infrastructure that they need to get set up with using a kind of abstraction. So it's pretty much top to bottom. Um, any part of a kind of abstraction, we can help with all of it as we are uh, sort of veterans in this space. So I'm less actually on the DeFi side of things compared to some of the guys in this call, um, but um, I'm more in the user experience side of things, uh, which is obviously uh, pretty important for for mass adoption. And the, yeah, thanks for having me. It seems like a pretty pretty interesting discussion we'll have. 
Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I'm really excited about this uh, topic in general. I mean, there's so much going on. We had PayPal release a stablecoin, and there was there was a curve. Uh, the stuff that happened with curve. So of course, I mean, there's so much uh, that's going on. Uh, so probably, Emmanuel, could you shed some light on what are your thoughts on DeFi, and are we are we even ready for mass adoption at this point? Uh, that's uh, the, that's for you, Emmanuel. Maybe maybe uh, Taylor could go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I can kick it off. Um, if Emmanuel's say okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I said. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. You want? To sorry, Manisha. I was a hey, Taylor. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. I don't know, but I'm not hearing Manisha anymore. I don't know if it's something wrong with, you... with me or if you guys can not hear me well. So you you confirm you can hear me? I'm I'm able to hear you, Emmanuel. Uh, were you guys able to hear me? All right, let me try to to go out and and re come back because I cannot hear you guys. You can start off, Taylor. And sorry for interrupting. No worries, no worries. Waiting for you. Uh, cool. I think uh, Taylor, you could uh, take the take this forward. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. That's cool. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm not as deep in the the DeFi ecosystem as some of the people in this call, um, but currently um i think we are getting close to be ready for the mass adoption side of things uh, at least from user experience side of things um and i think that because we have these tools available through a kind of abstraction sdks like etherspots um to create these like very fantastic uh user flows on pretty much any DeFi app on any evm based network um now this is very important for mass adoption because we want uh, normal like normies, normal people to be able to use these uh, these amazing DeFi platforms with without having much blockchain knowledge, and we want them to also to feel secure using it. If they're going to put money into this platform, we want them to feel like you know like they're not going to get scammed or something, or like lose their their funds somehow. So with the current state, um, the current meta of using an EOA or a KeyBase wallet like MetaMask, it's it's pretty daunting for a new user who isn't uh, who isn't very tech friendly to like save this twelve word key. And if they lose it, um, they're screwed pretty much. Uh, so with AI features, we can onboard them and we can create a wallet, for example, through their email. And we can provide some of these great recovery and security mechanisms that they will be used to using you know, on some uh, centralized um, software so that they'll feel really, really secure um, depositing funds and trading and doing whatever in some DeFi platform. Um, now, personally, uh, I, don't th I don't think enough DeFi platforms have implemented enough smart wallet usage yet. I think a lot of them that we've talked about um, realize the importance of this going forward for mass adoption, but it's not really a priority for them. Um, I guess that's because they, they, you know, they're a DeFi platform. They're building some other very cool feature. Um, so yeah, I kind of, I kind of wanted to ask this question to the DeFi platform people on this call. Um, is this something in your guys like roadmaps to improve the user experience? Um, or what's your what's your stance on this currently? Because it's probably one of the biggest factors in you know getting like this sort of mass adoption as everyone talks about. Absolutely, um, Anurag, would you like to take that out? Yeah, sure. I mean, the mass adoption comes gradually. I mean, it's not a uh, it's not a something like which comes at a pivot point. So, any emerging technologies uh, uh, takes a few certain market cycle for a mass adoption, and then it often. Uh, increases with the with the betterment in the user accessibility and the user experiences. So I don't know, you guys have used Ether Delta in the early days. Uh, the UI of that Ether Delta was, was very complex, was very nerdy, but now you can simply swap your assets uh, with a single click. So obviously, uh, if, we, if, if we want an average Joe to use a DeFi platform, we have to work on those UI things or uh, make it more user-friendly and make it more uh, secure because not an average Joe can, can secure the wallets or, or, or assets, right? And, and, and also uh, what I believe is that, like uh, if, if you talk about internet, like it took, it took like, uh, I think one or two decades for, for a mass adoption. Earlier we used to access website using IP addresses, but gradually now we can access it using domain name. So in the same way, the addresses in, in, in the blockchain is being replaced by ANS domains, right? So in this way, uh, we can eventually effectively uh, lead to a mass adoption. And, and if you talk about the TVL, TVL of a DeFi, right, it has grown significantly in the last four years. So we are still at the beginning of a, of a market cycle. 
and and to gradually after like two or three market cycle we can see an average joe using a defi platform on the mobile apps this is what i i think right right um, in terms of adoption i think uh, linia has uh, made uh, all the right strides uh, recently like since the one month they've launched so uh, emmanuel uh, maybe you could uh, shed some light on this topic as well yeah sure i should be <laughs> hearing everyone correctly now Yay. so uh, basically i mean you know it's such a large question even mass adoption you know it's it's definitely a word that, that it should be uh weighted uh in reality defi in our opinion has a key role you know simply because it's the infrastructure on which the use cases of the future will leverage we as linea are pushing defi use cases a lot you know also metamask that is part of our ecosystem has a lot of dependencies in the building blocks of defi and it's going to have more and more in our opinion Linea is the sister project of MetaMask and you know we are also using it to provide a frictionless onboarding or at least try to so definitely onboarding of users is something that it's getting solved uh, slowly more and more even though i have to totally second taylor on what he said so in my opinion the most important thing that is happening at the moment uh, is definitely the rise of account obstruction uh, but it's not just about that i mean the whole idea now is the possibility to customize different flows for the users thanks especially to the existence of you know wallet sdks that implement account obstruction by default uh, for which a product manager for example of a defi protocol can have all the control in their hands to try and make the experience as good as possible for the users. So wallet wallet SDKs in account obstruction specific uh, use cases that are enabled, you know, multi call or batch signing plus the use of gasless transactions is what can increase user experience uh, by by a great deal and what we are really looking for together with our partners uh, I mean we have Pimlico on board uh, Uh, third web and you know by economy that are really uh, also like ether spot are really pushing uh, this concept above and you know we are really trying to push our partners ourselves because the overall idea is that it's the market that needs to demand for better ux apps that's the only way that devs will, will construct you know better ux is that will enable for for mass adoption it's just it's just a market demand that we really kick off the next season of defi where we are not at in my opinion absolutely i think uh, you know uh, user experience has been uh, a common topic across web3 uh, steve what do you have to say about that yeah that's a really the ultimate stepping stone we need to get over right now is just the overall user experience at least in my opinion from helping build a product here that targets crypto natives uh, i think we still even need we have a long way to go just to make users that are familiar with the space just 100% confident in how they're navigating and using kind of tools like the ones that were just mentioned here as well as just overall feeling of safety when interacting with new protocols and things like that So I think that's the next step we need to take and then we can go on towards uh doing things like mass adoption and bigger scale outreach like that. Uh that's absolutely on point honestly I think uh the industry uh is uh, at a nascent stage which everyone talks about uh but there's a much uh, like you know that we need more people coming in we need more uh, thesis based approach uh, to get somewhere or like to get to a point where we could in fact talk about mass adoption um okay uh, so i think i'm going to wrap up this uh, panel now um any of you i mean I, it's it's an open question again like you know if you guys have a closing any closing thoughts anything that you'd like to point out nothing much i just want to thank you for for the invite and i mean <laughs> let's see if we're really able to to achieve massive onboarding in the defi ecosystem even though it doesn't necessarily have to be that way right i mean it, it has to be gradual it's not going to happen in one day so let's build it together thank you thank you guys thank you guys for your time here uh, it was absolute it was an absolute pleasure